So you want to grow your long blonde hair out, live in a tower with your pet chameleon, and make sure you have your trusty dusty frying pan. Well, unfortunately, that's already been done. Get in line. Hey guys, I'm about to my no. <clears throat> hey guys, I'm about to my Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how I made this cool, um, uh, th triple like z zooming in thing. Uh, with the logo, my logo, I made a new logo, by the way. If you haven't watched that video, go check it out right now. The link shall be um, down below or probably at the end of this video somewhere. It's, it'll be somewhere. And make sure to check that out if you haven't seen it already. It's a cool new logo, um, and we're going to be using that to make a nice intro today. So the first thing you need to do is uh, whatever word you have, whatever type of thing you have, I've cut my, I've cut the, 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 the images into three different pieces here, as you can see. So this is what's, this is what's happening basically. So I have the full logo um, and then I just cut it into three, oops, not that, three separate pieces here, as you can see. So we have the tuts, we have the buy. And then we have the Kai all in a transparent background, of course. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just drag a box over top of everything, hit delete, um, and then hit uh, edit, preferences, and then make sure you open up the add-ons tab, add tab and then just search for images, images as planes and make sure that's checked and ready to go. Um, after that, you can close that box and then just hit one on your numpad and hit shift A, search for a camera and then um, hit GY to move that bad boy backwards. Middle mouse button, by the way, the scroll wheel. Click the scroll wheel to go ahead and pan around your scene like this. Hit zero to go into the camera's view and then hit shift A and search for an image and then images as planes. And of course, you can go ahead and open up all three of these images that we have right here. Go ahead and make sure that this is set to shadeless and also make sure that shadow mode is set to none, not clipped. So go ahead and do that and then hit uh, import images as planes and then we have all three of them. Now, if we go to material viewport shading, you can see that the material is proper, but they're like way over here. So hit G, um, hit Alt G to clear the uh, location of all those. So they just snap back to the, the middle. Um, and now they're the wrong colors as well. Like they don't look good. They don't look, they look, you know, like someone suck the juice out of them like it's you know some kind of blender <laughs> anyway we're gonna go to the main tab here the render tab and then scroll on down to color management and then go to um uh, view transform and change that from agx to standard and boom we have our colors nice the way they're meant to be so we're not done we're gonna go ahead and do something super super simple here we're gonna go ahead and open up our timeline Select the one that says touch, which is the first one all the way on, over here on the left. Hello. And uh, hit, hit uh, put our cursor, our crosshair, like timeline line thing. Um, our, scr our, scr our, our scrub bar. That's what it's called. The scrub bar. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, make sure it's on like maybe about frame 20. Hit I, um, location. And then we're going to go to the first frame in the timeline. And then hit G, X, and then move it way over here like that off of the camera's uh, view. And then hit I location there you go so now when we play this you can see that it goes like this kind of zooms in but it's really low frame rate and it looks really gross so i'm gonna go to the uh, second tab here which is the output tab and go down to the frame rate section and change it from 24 to 60 frames per second and then go ahead and uh, hit play on this again you can see that it now looks nice and smooth but it kind of just like snaps like it just stops moving fully and i don't really like that so let's go ahead and um select tuts again um and then go to maybe frame 70 Hit I, location, and then on frame 20, we can like move it backwards a little bit. So G, X, and move it like a little bit out. Hit I, location to answer another keyframe there. And now you can see it does like this. It kind of slows down and like slowly goes into the into the B there. Looks really cool. Looks really cool. So that was nice. Um, now we just need to do the same thing for the other two words. But for Kai, I'm going to go ahead and um, on frame 20, again, I'm going to hit I, location. And on frame 70, just so we can have it where it needs to be. I, location. And then back to the first frame, zero frame. Um, or one frame rather hit G X and then move it off the camera. I location again. And now you can see it just snaps in. We need to go ahead and move frame 20 backwards a little bit. So we'll do that right now. I location. And then you can see that now they, those both so move in, which looks really cool. Nice, nice, nice. So with the, with the, with the buy, that's the last one we need to do. And for the buy, I'm actually going to go ahead and go from the top. So let's go ahead and put our keyframes in just so we can have like little markers of where they're meant to go. Uh, frame zero, frame frame one, frame twenty, and frame seventy. So then on frame um, one, I'm gonna hit G Z to move it upwards, and then hit I location. And then on frame twenty, we're gonna move it up a little bit. So G Z, move it up like that. I location, nice. So now it looks like this. 
they're all coming in and they're all slowing in which looks really really cool and that is literally basically that which is a really cool effect and it fits with really the logo as well i don't think we're gonna use this as the actual intro for the for the for the videos because i kind of have the intro like the intro that just happened in this video so i want to keep it but i just wanted to make a nice little thing because i thought the, in the the logo fit really well for something like this um you know what technically the kai should be coming from the bottom because the arrow is going upwards can we fix that real quick hold on let me do something real quick let me just let me just let me just move this whoa that's not what i meant to do um let me just move the kai hold on now i've just come up with an idea let's go from the bottom like this and we'll go up yeah 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 and then the frame 20 will go down a little bit and then like this instead oh that's so much better oh that's way better uh cool what the hell all right that's nice that's cool all right that's cool what the heck i like that way better wow all right well there you go and then just to see what it looks like better, I can go to the camera tab and go to viewport display and pass or part two. We'll just turn that all the way up so it's like solid black so we can't see anything else distracting us outside of the camera's view. That's how you do that. That's a cool little like motion effect of like the zooming letters. I'm going to call it the zooming letters. That's cool. Um, <laughs> uh, in, in Blender with a really cool logo, really cool, um, really cool animation for it. Very, very cool stuff. I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new today. I'll see you in the next one. But until then. Bye.